you saw me pick it up at the uh, yard sale. If you watched the one where I said, hey, this guy grabbed my camera, uh, it turned out to be a friend of mine. Uh, although I didn't know that when he grabbed my camera and I saw the tattooed arm, I was a little bit scared for a second. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're back in the eBay cave. We're gonna do a little bit of shipping tonight and uh, tell you what sold. We're gonna give you an idea of what we paid for it and what it went for. It had a pretty good day. Sold three hundred sixteen dollars and twenty one cents worth of stuff going out today, um, which is pretty solid lately. Especially when I'm back at school. If we can get anywhere close to two hundred dollars in a day with me back at school, that's terrific. Blue Ridge Mama has really been picking up the slack listing. Um, when I'm back at school, it's a little bit more difficult. Matter of fact, I haven't listed one item today, and that's really rare for me. And I still have to do lesson plans for this for this week, so I don't really need lesson plans. That's a little secret. Don't tell the administration. I've been doing this for 20 years. We have been in here watching a little bit of uh, vintage digs back there. He's uh, got a new dumpster dive video out, so while we were doing some work earlier, uh, that's what we were watching, and uh, it's usually what I do. I either watch a video back here, uh, some of my favorite YouTubers and favorite resellers. Uh, sometimes I'll play some music. We had the Beach Boys on a little, little earlier. So we're going to um, take items one by one. And then we're going to talk about last uh, weekend's uh, videos. I had a few questions, had a few comments. And I wanted to address those. I don't usually address comments on air. But I figured I would with a couple of these. Um, saves me a little bit of time responding to everything on the uh, comments as well. So... At any rate, thanks for joining us. Let's take a look at what's sold. All right, first thing up is the best sale we had. It is one of the vintage, I think, 200A globes um, that sold. Uh, it's a Coleman globe, a vintage one. And, and this particular color and this uh, bold shape um, is one of the big sellers. You saw me pick it up at the uh, yard sale. If you watched the one where I said, hey, this guy grabbed my camera, uh, it turned out to be a friend of mine. Uh, although I didn't know that when he grabbed my camera and I saw the tattooed arm, I was a little bit scared for a second. Um, but on that video, we bought this one for $5. It sold for $100 plus shipping. And we're going to double box this thing because it is fragile. It'll show up safe, but uh, just to double, it's a $100 sale. If it was a $5 sale, I might not double box it. I'd just package it well. But a $100 sale, I'm going to make sure this thing is safe. This is a Blue Ridge Bomba buy. We've been selling these. We're, we're getting down to the bottom of them. It sold for $10.88. It is a smushy, mushy maple syrup jug. And I think we're a dollar into these, maybe a dollar fifty. So it's, you know, it's five, six bucks every time we sell one. And we had hundreds of them. Sold a couple mousetrap replacement balls and sold some backgammon replacement chips. I've already got those packaged up. A couple bucks on each, I think. Sold another hat from the um hat lot that we got with that john deere hat this is the toledo mud hen hat and it sold for 14 dollars 88 cents free shipping so it's pure profit at this point so just to give you an idea for you non non resellers out there just in my mind to do the calculation of the of the profit on an item like this from a zero you know a beginning zero point because we're in a pure profit on this um it's let's say it's 15 dollars, which is roughly what it is I calculate 20% in fees. I know it's not quite that high, but that also adds in um, the cost of shipping materials and things like that and gives me a little bit of cushion. And it's easy to do math at 20% as opposed to, say, 12 or 15 or 16. Um, so just in my mind, I, I can do these calculations um, fairly close to what it's going to be. So 20% uh, is $3. Shipping on this is going to be roughly $3, maybe a little bit more, $3.50. So let's just say it's three fifty, and we'll say six fifty into it, and we're gonna sell it for fifteen dollars. So we're looking at a profit of about eight fifty on a fifteen dollars sale. Eight fifty, maybe a little bit less. Next item is a Liberty Pool pullover, and this is, if you can believe it, a four XL, and it's a great jacket in great shape. Whenever you get these giant sizes, a lot of times they are old football coaches uh, who are no longer football coaches in town, and they'll drop their stuff off at the Goodwill. In this case, I got this at a yard sale. It sold for, it's really, really lightweight, by the way. Um, I didn't pay more than five bucks for it at the most. I can guarantee that, probably paid less. If I bought it at Goodwill, it was $3.99, but I didn't, I bought this at a yard sale. So five bucks max 
Um, it sold for $28, so it's a pretty nice little profit because this will ship for eight ounces. So this is probably a $350 to $4 shipper. Next item up on the list, this is a $10 sale plus shipping, and it's not going to be a big profit, but uh, we'll make a few bucks on it. Liberty Alumni shirt. We have a Louis L'Amour um, book. It's To the Far Blue Mountains, Louis L'Amour, and these are uh, like the faux leather ones. This one's in pretty good shape. It's got one little nick right there. Um, but this it looks like it hasn't been been read maybe one time, but I even doubt that bought this in a huge lot long long time ago on the way to Roanoke to do some yard sailing and I, I probably have about 80 cents into it. I bought I paid 15 bucks and bought a ton of them um, So maybe 75 cents something like that and it's over 1788 um, Free shipping, but it'll be media mail shipping. So it's a pretty good little profit on one book when I had probably 25 or so Next item is a Liberty, another Liberty Nike Dry Fit, $14.95 plus shipping on this one. I think it's plus shipping, I'm not quite sure, but this is a nice Nike Dry Fit, and it is a size large, and it's in great shape, so it's a nice sale on that one. This is an Icon um, motorcycle helmet. It's in really good condition. you got to be careful on these. If there's any damage, I wouldn't suggest selling them, but even the inside looks really, really good. It sold for $54.95 plus shipping, and this happens to have come from the Happy Little Accident sale, so we get to put it to our total. Remember, we paid $200 bucks for everything at the Happy Little Accident. Our goal was $2,500. We are nowhere near getting there, but we just about here hit the one-third mark. So one more good sale, and it'll be one-third of the way there. So with that sale, that'll put us at $739. Um, and then we sold three stickers from the booth. Uh, I saw that come through an email. Um, three of the decorative stickers for Creative Memories. And so that is going to take us to $742. So... We're about uh, 90, um, almost $100, about $95 away from getting one third of the way there. So we still got a long way to go um, to get to $2,500 for our goal. So we'll see. Last but not least is another Mary Kay item. This is all pure profit. We've already made about $20 on, on that box we bought. This is pure profit. So we'll add another, say, $17 or $18 to this, to that lot, because this sold for $24.41. And we'll get this thing shipped out today. And that's it for today. So, hey, thank y'all for joining us. But we are going to continue this video. And I'm going to show you a little bit of shipping um, from above. And uh, let you take a look at least uh, how we package up an item like this. You can, you can see that. A um, couple more things real quick before you go. I wanted to answer a couple of questions from the viewers from... A few yard sale videos ago, I guess it is now, the name of the yard sale, I think was, uh, went to a garage sale and it turned into a retired pickers um, hoarder sale or something, a hoard sale, something like that, I can't remember. Really nice guy, by the way. I gave him a card, so hopefully you're watching this video. If you are, leave a comment below. Um, people loved watching that video. So, a couple things. Um, on the last yard sale I think we went to, two people commented about that butter dish. I haven't listed it yet, but two people commented about that butter dish. Um, Ellen and Vintage Diggs, who I was watching earlier today. I don't know if you saw it on the screen, but Vintage Diggs back there. And uh, they said that that was, uh, I think Ellen said it was a butter dish from when she was a kid. She remembers that. And you know what? That's As a reseller, that's something you should remember. If it's something you like, it's not necessarily something that sells. But if there's a lot of people grew up in your generation that had a fondness for something, it's likely that other people out there did too. Um, so occasionally I find things that I'm like, you know, I have no idea what this is. I'm not going to pick it up. Sometimes I pick it up and I realize there's a following for it. And sometimes my wife will say something like, I've never heard of that. And sometimes I'll say something and she's like, I've never heard of that. I'm like, you never heard of that? And vice versa. And so it's really good to go out picking with somebody as well. There's a couple more. I think Will, Reinholtz, and Jen out there from hobby thrifts i was down in roanoke for those yard sales um i think it became clear in the later ones when i showed black dog salvage but uh, i was definitely down there i would love to meet you sometime if you run into me i'm the dummy wearing the, the sunglasses even when it's overcast so you can say hi um i'm gonna blame having some bad yard sales down there on both of you because you're probably out there finding the good stuff before i got there and then last but not least um well, there's two actually. Norma Samples pointed out, and y'all can go back. I think it's minute 12 in that video in that uh, 
uh, antique, uh, retired antique guys, um, little garage there. She said there's a John Deere uh, oil oil can, um, transmission can, I think. And I looked those up, and sure enough, they do have some pretty good value. So I didn't even see it. Bailey Jane's Corner said she wanted that Bon Jovi chair. So if you're out there and and that was your yard sale, give me a call. You've got my card. Uh, I'll make a deal, and I'll be the, the middleman there between you and Bailey Jane's Corner, and we'll get her that Bon Jovi chair that was in that video. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.
Thank you.